What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Torque Drift. A lot of you guys were asking for it, but we're here today because, well, the M4 is a thing. So the M4 is here. We do have a chase challenge with the M4. We have upgraded the M4 a little bit, but we're going to see by adding some parts to it and trying to complete that chase challenge. we got two uh, crates to open up, and I think that's all we're going to really be able to get. Yep, nope, that's it. We are kind of broke, so we're going to need some, uh, some more money. But I think what we're going to do first is we're going to try and complete this chase challenge. The gold M4 chase challenge. I already got it. The two tiers done. Going for that final one. We're going to be taking the M4 out and trying to chase down the M4 with this, our own M4. So let's uh, go to it and see what we can do. Make sure you guys follow me in the description. Twitter, all that you found in the description box below. Go in second, go in third gear, kick it in, try and get as close as we can to him. Kind of want to be close to the wall, but not doing too, too bad. Oh, as I say that, we kind of uh, ran a little bit wide there. So we're not going to get it with this one, so we're going to hit retry. I'm going to lower the audio because I feel like I'm blowing your guys' eardrums out. And you probably couldn't hear me over the sound of the car. So we're going to go into third. we got to initiate almost with him. It's much better. I didn't want to bump into him. Now we're kind of off angle for this part. Oh, and a little wall tap. So if you guys have completed this challenge, let me know down in the comments how many times it took you. What car did you use? I feel like using the M4 just because, well, it's the M4 chase and the M4 chase challenge. So why not use an M4? Kick it in, there we go. Ooh, a little bump on the door. Uh, a little bit too much of a bump with the front bumper there. And we're always getting too close to that wall, causing us to come out of drift and lose our actual points there. So let's see. We need to, like I said, initiate with him and we need to be as close as we can to him and the wall. Yeah, that's much better. Let's throw hard in, kind of there. There we go. All right, so that's looking much better. We're a little bit further than I want to be from him. Oh, <laughs> rip! If I would have uh, handbraked, clutch kicked, or done a little break, I probably would have been there. So, this is not as hard as some of the challenges that have been out before, but I'm. Uh, Making foolish mistakes, causing myself to uh, not be in the position to get where I need to get. Right there. Bring ourselves back in. See, transition way too early there. We kind of need to be down on his door. I mean, 31, we got to get 43 to beat this chase challenge. I really would like to get that golden, you know, name tag. So, Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that you found in the description box below. If you guys are enjoying this and are excited for when the actual PC version is released, let me know down there. I'm excited to bring the PC content out when the game comes out, and that's going to wreck. Because it's going to be a whole new platform. New cars, starting over, and building, and being able to use a controller. I know I can use a controller on my phone, but I prefer it on the PC, and hopefully getting real support soon. All right, that's much better. It's a good dive, good room, hard flick. Probably should have stayed a little bit closer to him through that section. Oh, if we wouldn't have tapped the wall, I feel like we would have had it with that one. I feel like that would have been the ticket and we would have been able to get it. But unfortunately, we uh, came in contact with that wall. Oh, and that wall. Doing a lot of wall taps. At least they don't have the limited tries on this one because I've probably tried this a handful of times. I did get the second, you know, points tier in my first or second try. But I was using the Kristoff's uh, Bluesh E92 Eurofighter. Oh, there we go. That's better. 
want to be closer to the wall. Oh, I bet you if we would have been against the wall, we would have gotten that for sure. So we're going to give this one more shot probably here. And then we're going to go take this M4 maybe somewhere else. And do some more tandems with it. Although, we should definitely try and get this. Oh, so close, yet so far, unfortunately, that is going to write that car off. So not a hard challenge, long line is definitely not a difficult course, but if you want to be up against the barriers where you need to be to get the most points, it takes a little bit of practice and timing. And I feel like I cannot throw as much angle as that car because I only have a aftermarket angle kit. I don't even have an import angle kit or anything on this car. I thought maybe I could uh, eke one out there, but unfortunately, no. Nope. Better than our better than our previous run, 35, 36. So I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. We did get, I believe, 41 was our closest. And I was so upset when we were unable to uh, complete that. So let's go back and let's try running the E92. And then maybe we'll try Kristoff Lucia's car. So it's all about the BMWs here for today's episode. Yeah, okay. E92 has much more power and more angle that can be thrown as you can see uh, no I feel like this might be the best car to try because we're able to stick on the door with the E92 these two cars quickly becoming my favorite cars I do miss my E46 so the BMWs are back in my garage and we are going to be using them more and more here getting these cars up and hopefully bringing back my unstoppable E46 in a different chassis this time maybe in the E92 or the M4 mm, that's not going to be it but I feel like we're close we are beating this challenge to death just trying to make this work I would really like to complete this challenge because if you guys have been part of the channel for a very long time, I was on his bumper. You guys know I always mess up the challenges when I'm recording, but then afterwards I end up beating them. But we're trying to do this while we are on this video. Catch up. much closer to the wall we need to come out of there in the 20s if we want a chance to beat this by any means definitely gonna have to make sure we're up there in the points totals coming out of that section so we need to get not initiate on him I feel like maybe using first person might be better or using a hood view because I'll be able to see Kind of how close I am to him. Right. It was a better initiation, but way offline. And we are nowhere near online to get that wall drag. I think we're going to try this one more time, and then we're going to go try the other cars. Probably the E92 Eurofighter. Ooh, a little bump. Kind of in in position. We came out over 20 like I wanted to. Oh come on, that was that was it. That was it until we hit the wall. That was the golden ticket, the golden run for sure. But unfortunately, biffed it at the end. And 
we biffed it there. So let's go try the Eurofighter and see if we can get it with that. Because I would hate to not get it. But, unfortunately, name of the game, these challenges sometimes can be tough. Some of the simplest challenges that you're used to doing could be some of the hardest. So we're going to bring out Christos Blush. And we're going to go full force gear. We're going to definitely modulate the throttle. We don't run into him. The car has much more power and much more grip. I sent that way too soon. So we should be quite okay in angle and grip to be able to do this. Because we were at 30 there and we were way offline in the beginning. I think we're going to give it one or two more tries and then we will end it today. Initiate sooner than him. Too much grip. We're much closer with the uh, Mai 92. I feel like we can surge there better in this car. It's a tough, it's a tough challenge. Being limited to only using BMWs. Definitely loves BMW since you know I work for BMW. Definitely do love the brands. Flick in sooner. Aw, oh, too much on the front bumper. I was getting too aggressive, too saucy on that one. So let's go try one more time with this hero fight and then we may go back to my E92. overpowering him and I think overshooting our spots on where we actually need to be. And we surged so hard on the last part of this track. I feel like this car is what I need to use to get this. We just got to get the initiation correct and we need to get that transition onto the second wall. Good. We got to run a wider line. No, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> we can surge and catch him though, but ah, I gotta put one run together, but unfortunately I cannot put one full run together. Bits and pieces of runs are perfect, but unfortunately I cannot just get the full run down. That was a really bad start to this run. We're able to bring it back there. And then we clutch kick too much and throw it, overthrow it. So I think this could be our last try here for this episode here on Torque Drift. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Make sure you guys tap a like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We would appreciate all the support. This way. at the wall but we uh, kind of stayed in it this this could be it this could be the run that gets us oh mm. please tell me that would have been the run so I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.